All right, so today we are going to talk about the distance formula as well as writing equations of circles. So a couple of things first. We're going to talk about the distance formula as well as the midpoint because they are just good things to review and refresh before moving into the next couple of topics as well as to refresh for you um, for next year with your Algebra 2. So for our distance formula, we use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. And we'll label them x1, y1, x2, y2, just like when we were trying to find slope before. Now, you can either write the distance formula as the distance is the square root, it's a long one, of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's all under that one square root. Or it's the same thing if you take x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. It's really up to you on which format you want to use for that. But know that they are the same thing as long as you are putting the second first or the first point first does not matter as long as you are following the same format for both the x is being subtracted and the y is being subtracted. So let's just talk real quick through one of these examples. Uh, first thing, I'll just do the one that's on the graph here. If you want to try out these other ones, I will be posting the note sheets key for you. So you can always do that later. The first thing we want to do, find the distance between the two points on the graph. Well, first we have to find what these points are. We have a negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the x, so we have negative 5, comma, and when then we go up 1, 2, 3, so negative 5, 3 for our first point, and our second point, we only come over negative 2 on the x, and then we have down 1, 2, 3, so negative 2, negative 3 for this here point. So now for distance, we're going to have the distance of our x2, so that's negative 2, negative 2 minus our x1, which is negative 5. Square that, plus my y2, since I did my x2 first, so negative 3, and then minus y1, which is 3. And we'll square that. So now our distance equals the square root of, well, negative 2 minus a negative 5. That becomes plus a positive. So negative 2 plus 5 will give me 3 squared plus negative 3 minus 3 will give me a negative 6 squared. Now I can square both of these numbers. 3 squared will give me 9, and 6 squared will give me a positive 36. Even though it's negative, I'll end up multiplying two negatives together to get a positive. So this is distance equals, adding 9 and 36, the square root of 45. I know that's going to be something along the lines of uh, 6 point something, but let's put in our calculator here and get the exact measurement. Second square root. Same thing as the square, but it's our second function to get the little yellow option there. And 45. We do get 6.7. And we'll just round to the nearest tenth. So that would be my distance for this first problem. All right, so moving on to our midpoint. Uh, midpoint, we're still going to use that x1, y1, x2, y2 format. And our midpoint, remember m is our slope, so we want to make sure that we're specific. I like to use mp for midpoint. And this is a point, so we're going to get an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. To do that, we're going to take the average of our two x's, so x1 plus x2, divided by 2. Remember, the average is our terms all added together divided by how many there are. So we have two x's and two y's. Add them together, divide by 2. We'll get something out from this that will be an x mp and a y mp. 
So we'll get a new coordinate point when we do these examples. So if we want to find the midpoint of the segment GH, we have G, we have H, 5, uh, sorry, 7, negative 5, so X1, Y1. And H is our X2, Y2 with 9 and negative 1. So we'll plug these in. MP equals X1, which is 7, plus 9, which is our X2. Divide that by 2, comma, negative 5 plus negative 1, divide that by 2. Adding these tops together, we get 7 plus 9, which would give me 16, divided by 2, comma, negative 5 plus a negative 1 will give me a negative 6, divided by 2. And now I can divide both of these by 2, so I get 16 divided by 2 is 8 for my x-coordinate, and negative 6 divided by 2 would give me negative 3 for my y-coordinate. So that would be my midpoint between 7, negative 5, and 9, negative 1. So let's move on to talking about equations of circles.